I found these people online. They helped me upload from the internet the software to my GPS. And then they also sent me hard copies of the files, which are awesome. Customer service was great. Gentleman walked me through installing it on my computer and then on my GPS. I have a GPS very similar to this, a Garmin Nuvi. Um, this is an older version. I have a Garmin 1300 right now that I put the software on. And it's in the snowmobile. We're going to take a look at that right now. And I'll show you how I have it hooked up with my new glove box heated phone extender. All right. I'm going to show you what I did to help upgrade the navigation. I got a 2019. So I have the analog slash digital gauge. And uh, I just installed the heated foam holder with glove box uh, extension. Took an old Nuvi that uh, I don't use for auto anymore. Purchased some apps online. And uh, hooked it up to the sled. I had a little issue. I thought I was going to have to drill a hole in the back here. But I found this a curved USB port. Then I uh, plugged in just a straight USB. So I do not have the 12 volt in this. I was going to possibly hardwire this. You can see this doesn't fit flush. It's a really tight fit, but I didn't have to uh, drill any holes or make any uh, major modifications. Oh, shut it off. Um, see how long it'll stay on. But I can put my phone in there if I need to. I just don't like the idea of running my phone all the time. I do have a spare phone that I could put in there. You know, it's hooked to Wi-Fi before I leave and upload the maps. Just concerned if you lose service and you don't have something glitches, you're going to lose your maps. But, uh, yeah, this is a Garmin Nuvi um, 1300. Purchased a map from VV Mapping and uh, the guy was awesome. He helped walk me through getting it on this Nuvi. And I actually just got a SD card in the mail from them. And uh, said said there's going to be updates to their maps in a, in a month here. So pretty pleased about that. Um, these maps are, he said, uh, this is an interstate or major highway. Snowmobile trails have yellow with uh, a red border. You can see the creeks. I like how that stands out. Once again, this is obviously old technology, but I didn't pay anything for the, the new V. It was just sitting in the cabinet since I got everything on my car already. Or on my car already, but I figure this is going to be great for snowmobile. Um, see how, how things look there. A little bit slow compared to your modern phone and updating the map, but you're not going to be toggling through the map when you're riding. Um, yeah, I, I'm happy about that. So we got the upgraded version there. I like the largeness of this glove box. You can see how much uh, safe I'll sp oh, space I'll save uh, just by getting rid of some of these maps. Another thing I always carry with me is a jump starter actually will charge off the USB port in there and uh, yeah here's the additional foam they give you for this you need to make it fit better for your phone I don't like that it doesn't fit snug over here but oh that's why I just need to do that <laughs> there we go I just had the cord 
not uh, not in there correctly. So actually fits pretty pretty nicely, seeing as how thick that thing is. I'm actually surprised how long it's staying on. So that's nice too, knowing that if I decide to stop and take a leak or something like that, even though my machine isn't running, I'll still have GPS up and going. I know it takes a, a little bit for it to fire up when you turn your machine on. Now that's, that's a bummer. I didn't know that restarting it is going to actually restart the GPS, but it's an older model. Just be heading down the trail, you probably only get down the trail a few hundred yards. If you had stopped at an intersection, you probably have made your decision which way to go by then. First thing, it's hooked up to a computer, and then it'll fire up and realize that because it's plugged in USB, it's not actually hooked to a computer. So, there. Realized it wasn't a computer. Now let's boot the map up. Loading maps. Uh, it wasn't too long. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with this upgrade. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I actually have a, uh, a GoPro that sits on my handlebars. So this is actually going to take some of the view from my handlebars. As you can see, what, it, uh, what it's done, I have a medium-high windshield and it goes up about, you know, more than half the way. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to find a new place to actually mount my GoPro. Maybe I'll put it on my helmet since I just upgraded to that oxygen helmet. Well, there you have it. Thought I would just share this with you. I see a lot of people posting about the gauge on the new machines. And personally, I'm uh, happy with, with the older technology as long as my machine's running and not breaking down. That's what's most important.